Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And now that Elon Musk has bought Twitter, he's beginning to unveil his plans. And one of his first steps is apparently to charge users $20 a month to keep their blue verification check mark. Uh, this has obviously set Twitter into a tailspin of people reacting. Uh, what is the blue check mark? Well, let me show you. I do have one. It's white sometimes instead of blue. Uh, but I got to be honest, as someone who has it, it's a nice perk. Uh, it helps to verify to your audience that you are who you say you are. Uh, it does give you a little bit more uh, access to things. And in fact, it even gives you special notifications uh, side so I can see my verified users who have sort of connected with me. Uh, honestly, it, it is a worthy perk, I got to say. Uh, and to the idea, though, of paying for it uh, not sure I want to do that because the problem that then amasses is then anybody can have it. And more likely than not, the people who want to spam you, the corporations, the rich people are the only people who are going to be verified. Who's going to want to spend $20 a month just to get verification? As Stephen King put, uh, I think pretty eloquently, $20 a month to keep my blue check. F that they should pay me. If that gets instantated, I'm gone like Enron. Uh, look, I think his attitude is correct. Why would we pay Elon to be the celebrities, the people putting content out there? We should be rewarded because we're the ones giving him the content to pay for verification. I could say is the only thing I could see towards paying for verification that would help is that it could try to eliminate some of the spam bots. Who's going to really want to pay for that? But then when I think about it, all the brands who want to spam you with advertisements, that's who's going to pay for it. So Twitter is going to become uh, a frustrating buy, 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 buy. All the rich people and all the brands will be able to buy this. But uh, creators like us, we're not going to want to give them $20 a month to keep that. Uh, it's insane. And so a lot of people on Twitter are reacting to this. Um, uh, uh, monetizing the vanity of the blue check tw for Twitter ad addicts is unfortunately extremely funny. And the truth is a lot of people are going to want that vanity blue check mark to keep like, Oh, I need it. I need it. Uh, and it's going to be very interesting to see if, will they actually pay for it? Will all the <laughs> famous people who want to seem like they're important pay for it? Or will they not want to do that when they realize anybody who wants to buy it can now be part of this club? Is that going to actually help or hurt the user experience? I'm very curious. I will not pay for a blue check, nor will I even pay for basic tier Twitter, all of this using the bird app and everything you do here. Uh, you're the product of Twitter is selling F if I'm going to pay you to work for you, Elon, I mean, yeah, LOL, who is stupid enough to pay $20 a month for a blue check mark? Apparently, he's uh, greatly overestimates how much I care about my blue check mark. A lot of people are going to lose it. And it's frustrating because that's how you're going to have different viewpoints. All these people who disagree and don't want to be there. Pay, I mean, it's there's that politically, but also I think there's going to be a lot of backlash of creators who are like, wait a second, you want to charge me to give you the content? F that. When we lose uh, our blue check for not paying $20 a month, please nobody tweet fake versions of our fake stories. Uh, everyone on Twitter should have the option to obtain verification via blue check, green check, or orange check based on their qualifications and payment preferences. Is that what it is? Do we want this uh, class system on Twitter of who can afford it? Losing at all, at all you blue check marks claiming you'll leave Twitter or losing your verification. If Elon charges 20 for the badge, you wouldn't dream of giving up your blue check status. You'll definitely pay and we all know it. I, I, I think a lot of them will. Um, and it's frustrating as a brand with my brand. I, then I'm like, God, do I have to do that? It's just irritating. I, I'm going to need to think about this. This literally just dropped and I'm, I'm frustrated because I don't want to pay for it. That's ridiculous. Hilarious thing is I'm current Twitter blue subscriber, but I'll need to unsubscribe if they make verification conditional to having a Twitter blue subscription because paying for a check mark is 100% cringe. That's where I'm at. Like, I don't want to, anybody who has it is gonna be like, we're paying for our vanity, for our privilege. It just makes, it's, the, the verification process was something cool. It was an actual bonus. You had to get verified or you had to be up there at Twitter. It was a process. And I do believe there needs to be a process to get verified. I also do believe like, established brands and people should get that privilege because you want to know who you're, you're, if someone has an audience, you don't want to be spammed by fake people pretending to be them. That is not a, something that we want to buy. That's something we do to, to protect you. That's the only reason I would want to pay for it to avoid someone spamming as me. Do you know what I mean? So to force me to buy that as a brand on his platform, it's not a good look. It's not a good sign. And it honestly, it gets me very worried. Uh, but 
to all the other journalists out there forcing blue check journalists and politicians to pay 20 for their badge is brilliant. Elon is destroying their vain status symbol. It will now be a badge of signifying only that they are willing pay. They are a paid tribute to empire Musk. Uh, honestly, I agree. <laughs> so it's like, while I understand the process, I don't want to give in. What do you guys think? I mean, should I, would I have to buy it to sustain, uh, you know, let non spam accounts on Twitter or do I just turn it off and say F it? I feel like I got to turn it off and say F it just from the sake of, I don't want to be encouraging that model. I shouldn't have to pay as the creator of Twitter, uh, I'll creator on Twitter, a content provider as an entertainer called cringe or whatever you want it is. I have to, I am. And for me to pay him to do that, I just, I, I have, I am really struggling with why I want, would want to do that. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Should I continue my verification and pay for it? Or is Elon, has he lost his mind? Tell us down below. I have more to show you, but before I do, uh, please, speaking of platforms being crazy, the, the subscribers here are insane. I don't know what's going on. Can you verify that you are subscribed? Hit that bell as it just showed. Smash the like button and leave a comment. YouTube is absolutely unsubscribing folks in the droves. There's no way given my, I've been on Twitter, on YouTube for years. There's just no way that what my, I'm seeing my algorithm go isn't something that's a, a system error. So please, I've had so many of you verify that you aren't subscribed and you didn't even unsubscribe and you were frustrated. Please verify again. I'm sorry you have to go through that. And thanks for everybody who's helping. It's like a site-wide problem and I appreciate you guys' support. It's free. Hit the bell, hit the like and all that jazz. Uh, now, what does this mean for people? Well, it means people like OJ Simpson, I mean, if he can afford it, he shouldn't be able to afford it given all the other things out there that he's having should have to pay. Uh, so anyway, now he's uh, hoping he can get his blue check mark. And yeah, now OJ is going to get his blue check mark for $20 a month. OJ, you, anybody can get their blue check mark. But is that really worth it? Do you want the blue check mark to be verified of people who paid for it? Or do you want the blue check mark to be people who are being verified as you know, established content creators and celebrities that get it. Yeah, I don't think th they should be paying for it. Then it just becomes a class system, which I don't even, it, it, this is a mess. Speaking of a mess, oh, sorry. I don't know why my camera keeps doing that. Bear, bear, bear with me. Uh, I'm back. There we are. Uh, speaking of messes, speaking of messes, he, uh, in, in a sign of what's to come on Twitter, as he's, you know, expressing, you know, not a hellscape and, you know, proper discourse, Elon tweeted and then deleted a conspiracy theory about Paul Pelosi, Nancy's husband. Now, I don't want to get into the politics of a God. I don't want to get in the weeds of, oh, but Andy, uh, he's telling you the truth. Uh, that's not what this is about. Sorry, again, my camera keeps freezing. I'm trying to fix it, but I got to get this video up fast, so I can't record, re-record. Uh, but, uh, Guys, regardless of what your feelings are on this, I don't believe it. I think it's a conspiracy theory because the article, uh, so here's what happened. Here's what happened. And it's just interesting because Elon's claim that it's, you know, Twitter's going to be better, right? So he responded to Hillary Clinton uh, spreading hate and deranged conspiracy theories about Nancy Pelosi's husband. Nothing is proven, guys. It's just a theory, and I'm going to show you. As citizens, we must hold them accountable, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Elon must tweeted, there is a tiny possibility there might be more to this story than meets the eye. And then he linked to this site. Now, when I read this site, because I did do the homework, I read it. Literally, it's now been updated to say the police said they never knew each other. Um, now, uh, basically, the source is, in my humble opinion, in my humble opinion is what this guy is now sourcing as if this is factual, as is as if this is the awful truth. Uh, look, I'm not saying this guy can't write this and you guys can't think, hmm, I wonder. But the reality is this isn't a fact. This is not a fact yet. Um, there's no reason for people shouldn't look into this. If the, some of the things this article are actually true, then yeah, look into it, whatever. But there's nothing factual about this. It's just a conspiracy theory right now, or a let's call it a theory that someone has made a, a, up in their opinion uh, based off of some sources, which is always interesting to me because they always, they never, whenever sources are on the other side are things you agree with, uh, you know, traditionally you believe it when sources are on the other side. Uh, I don't know, Andy. Well, well who's your source? So uh, you gotta be careful here. I, the, I don't trust this source of the Santa Monica observer. That's why I don't believe this. Um, now I also don't trust the mainstream media and I do believe that they might be trying to cover something up if something were bad to happen, but 
There's no proof of it yet, guys, and I'm not going to go and encourage it. Elon Musk, though, did. He did put it out there. And as someone who's now making a whole point of being better in the news, this got him in a lot of backlash. And then Jimmy Kimmel called him out. It's been interesting over the years to watch you blossom from electric car guy into fully formed P POS uh, sharing this you know, thing. Now, again, people believe Jesse Smollett. You know what I mean? Like, so I, I'm not someone who's going to be as serious as Jimmy Kimmel here because I think Jimmy's going to look real dumb if there is, if anything part of it turns out to be true. But Elon should be better and more careful than sharing these theories without actual, you know, real evidence and proper sources. That's where all this gets complicated. What's a proper source? Who do we trust? You know, who can be verified? Is it anybody who pays for it? Is that actually going to help? Elon has now since deleted that tweet and he hasn't responded to it. And instead, you know, people are memeing him. Well, maybe there's more to the story than meets the eye about this. That's the problem with just sharing a theory. I could go on a whole theory about Elon and her if I wanted to, right? Is it true? Does it mean, does it give it any weight? Um, Elon's response was only, this is fake. I did not tweet out a link to the New York Times calling out, you know, that they said it's just funny that, he uh, tweeted a share and a link for it and published false news because the New York Times has published plenty of fake news in their day. It's true. A lot of outlets have. And it's it's hard. We live in a world where it's unclear who's telling you the truth, which sources are legit. But Elon right now, with all the eyes on him, should be more careful. Now, he tweeted, he deleted it. So clearly, he, he, he can't stand by it, which again goes against the fact if anybody out there wants to scream conspiracy theories in the comments, guys, this is just... All, only that. There's no factual evidence to it. And it just comes back to the main story of like, well, then who's verified? Who's real? He's basically saying anybody who pays for it. And anybody who pays for it isn't necessarily trustworthy. It's just a tiered system of people who have money and people who don't. And to do that to your content creators, regardless of your politics on Stephen King, Stephen King should be verified on Twitter. Forcing him to pay so I know which one's the real Stephen King that's idiocy. That just makes no sense. So no, as I've thought this out with you guys and reported it, I can't support this. I can't pay for this. I can't pay for a blue check mark. It's insane. This system's, this is the beginning of red flag city to me. I do find it amusing that a lot of people are going to have to pay for the vanity mark. <laughs> and then it's going to be interesting to see who paid for it. That's honestly what it's going to become. Uh, so, uh, what do you guys think? I need to hear more about this. Uh, I, I do subscribe to Twitter blue. If it was part of just the $5 Twitter blue, I, I like it for some of the other features when I'm recording things, it does help me that maybe might be more sufficient, but even then the verification process should be more than just money. There should actually be a process of people checking. Is this person actually who they say they are? Does this person brings substantial stuff. I don't want ads to be verified. I mean, granted, I guess we're all promoting ourselves. We're all in a way ads, but I don't want accounts to just be paying to be a verify and then it's telling me, buy this, buy this, buy this. Like Pepsi, sure, you can get verified. But some person trying to sell me on Pepsi? No, I don't want to have all that forced on my feed and that's what I worry it's going to happen. So what do you guys think? Again, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for alerts, smash that like button as well uh, and leave a comment down below. Should I get verified? Should I not get verified? Will you get verified? I want to hear all those thoughts and make sure to join us. We'll be live later today with a Halloween stream. It's Halloween. This is Halloween. Join us then around 1.30 p.m. I'll see you guys then.